Hi everyone and welcome to our first ever Code for Kids Robotics course. Today I'll take you through lesson three of the four lessons in the course. We are looking at coordinates in this lesson and here we have the information page where you as the teacher can explain how items on a map have a specific map coordinate. The x-axis is going horizontally and the y-axis is going vertically. We can use a little phrase for them to remember. It goes along the corridor and up the stairs to help them to remember the coordinates. For example, the coordinates for the treasure chest are x equals 4 and y equals 5 and this can be written as 4, 5. You can get your learners to go and click on the draw tool and this time go and determine where the trees coordinates are and where the blue star coordinates are. Task 0. Get Kip to join the coordinates below. Remember that Kip can move in all the different directions. And we see that Kip has started x3, y1 and moved up to x5, y3. And those are the first two coordinates that are already done. We then need to work out with the other two coordinates and back to the start again. So how will we get Kip to move to x3, y3, which is over here? Well, Kip is going to be, have to turn, turn to the west and he's going to move to And we can run and check that he's gone in those correct spots. Yes, he is at 3, 3. Now the next point is 1, 1. So we need to decide which direction is he going to move. Kip is going to turn southwest this time. Finally, he will go back to his original position by turning east. We run the code. And Kip has completed his task and then we decide what has Kip drawn. Kip has drawn a parallelogram and you can discuss the features of a parallelogram with your learners. Task 1. Still using cardinal points, use the coordinates to plot what Kip is going to draw. So we run again and we see that he's already started drawing 4, 1 and 1, 1. So we need to determine which direction he's going and what he's going to be drawing. He's going to turn north and he's going to be moving up to 1, 6. So we need to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4. And that will take him right up to the top here. Then he will be moving in the easterly direction. And each time your learners can check and see that they are at the correct spot. From this point here, from 2, 6, he's going to go and move to 2, 2. So going to go south, 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. Continuing with the points, he will then move east, another 2 spaces, south, another 1 space. And finally, once your learners have written all the code in there, they can click Run and check what they have drawn. And in this case, they've drawn an L shape. In task two, we need to debug the triangle to make it go through these coordinates, 1, 1, 1, 8, and 8, 1. Let's run and see what Kip is doing now. He's creating this little triangle over here, going through uh, 1, 1, 1, 4, and 4, 1. If they are looking very carefully, they can see that they are just going to be making Kip go a little further up. So instead of going 1, 1, 1, 4, they're actually doing 1, 8. So they can add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So he, they know that Kip will move 7. The basic directions are all there, we are just changing the variable. And then in this case they can go and decide if he's up here and he needs to be right down at the bottom here at 8, 1, how many, approximately how many moves will he need to go? Well it's going to be more than 7, 
so they can have a guess and say perhaps it's nine and then perhaps they would he would return back on seven he they can run the program and see oh dear nope it didn't work out so we're going to go and change those variables until such point that they have that perfect triangle running through those points. In task three, we have three squares that we're going to be drawing. The first square has already been half done for the learners and they are going to complete the square. Don't forget those parentheses. And we're going to run and see that he completes his square. The second square is going to be blue and they're going to double the sides of the square. So it's important at this stage to get Kip to go and change his color. He's going to change his color to blue. So using the function that we learned in the previous lesson, Kip change color to blue. And remember that when he completes his square, he's actually facing west. So we do need to go get him to go and face north. And we are doubling the side, so we're going to get Kip to move not two, but in this case he's going to move four. And he does the green square, and he does the blue square, double that size. The, square, the third square is going to be red, and this one is going to have the sides triple the length of square one. So remember that they need to look at square one's length, which is two, and then obviously times it by three. So a little bit of multiplication into that. So again, we're going to change the color to red. The challenge. This is a real wonderful challenge and they can decide how what they would like to draw and then they're going to plot the points for a friend. So this is what I have previously plotted. Just a simple shape, keep it simple. And here's a simple triangle, a little bit of a different triangle but also ensuring that in each point it is crossing at a coordinate. And then I'm able to go and tell my friend to draw the following shape by giving the coordinates. So I will give these instructions to my friend, draw the following shape, and I would write that over there. And once I've done this and I've plotted all the points, I could then go and remove my code and then ask my friend to come and work on my computer and try and create what I created before. At the very top, please do not worry about these config tabs. They will be locked and the learners will not be able to unlock them. Good luck with lesson three. I hope it all goes well.